in today's video we are going to make the orthographic projection for this very object and by the way this arrow represents that you have to view it from the front this is for the front this is for the top and that's for the right hand side view by the way these three views can be made on three perpendicular planes what are they they are a vertical plane horizontal plane and the profile plane vertical plane you make the front view in the horizontal plane you make the top view and in the profile plane you will create the right hand side view and by the way this entire drawing will be made keeping in mind that it is a case of first angle projection which means that the object is above hp and in front of vp right okay so the object lies between you and the plane of projection always okay very well now what we are going to do is first of all just try to observe this and uh, pick the maximum dimension the maximum dimension in this case is 40 multiply 40 with 2.5 or 3 what is the result if you multiply it by 2.5 the result is 100 so make two lines one horizontal and vertical both of them having a dimension of 100 okay this is this is how i approach the problem so that i have enough space for making all the three views now from here what we can do is we have got to make some construction lines how do you do that i'll use the offset command okay and i'll take an offset of five millimeters by the way i am implementing this on autocad you can do it manually if you are having a drawing sheet you can do this right with the help of a mini drafter or a roller scale very easily 5 mm above and 5 mm below you need to make two construction lines and please keep in mind construction lines have to be made very very light use a 4h pencil and even hold that pencil very lightly only you shall be able to see it okay so i'll keep this distance of 5 millimeters and i'll select this line above 5 and below 5 same to the right 5 millimeters to the left 5 millimeters now i am going to select all of these lines and i am going to make them convert them into construction lines so basically i've increased the transparency in autocad you guys have to hold it very very lightly and use a lighter pencil so far so good now have a look add this from the front we are now going to make some boxes what are those boxes take a look the box is going to be having a maximum length of 40 and a height of 25 40 and 25 very well rectangle maximum length of 40 and height is 25 that's your rectangle 40 by 25 rectangle done again in the top view this this top view that you see this portion that you see will be drawn in the top right what are the maximum dimensions sir it is 40 by 35 so you have to repeat the same here in the horizontal plane let us take this point 40 by 35 so the dimension is 40 by 35 done so far so good now in the profile plane we are going to see the right hand side view and by the way this is first angle prediction the right hand side view is made to the left of front view i hope you got this so it is 35 by 25 you can see this very well rectangle 35 by 25 done these are the three boxes inside which we'll be inscribing our views okay front top and right hand side and by the way let me use the explode command right now this is a single uh, entity a rectangle i am going to explode it convert this into simple lines here we go now you can see if i click on it it is a single line all of these i mean it means that these rectangles are made up of four lines we are going to start with the front view from the front this is what you see take a look at this line where is this line from the right hand side it is at a distance of 25 25 offset how much 25 enter click click done now take a look at this line over here it is at a distance of again 25 from the leftmost end offset 25 again now what sir what about this distance this is 10 millimeters and 10 millimeters from bottom also okay you can see it over here again we'll use the offset command 10 and from the bottom and from the top wonderful 
how do you proceed now i am going to use the by the way these are all construction lines and uh, i can make them very very light okay these are all construction lines right now the front view is almost done there is one thing though that is left from the front you will be able to let me just end this object isolation you can see all of this in color in the front you will be able to see this yellow portion this is that yellow portion and then there is this green portion also which you can see this green face which is yet to receive some kind of construction so from over here that is at a distance of seven millimeters again let me use the offset command at a distance of seven let me put this in this fashion okay now things are pretty clear to us let me draw the yellow portion for, for all of you and uh, let's use a thick line for this purpose from here we are starting from over here and then we have to move till here then we need to go downwards this way this way this way this way this way this way and now you need to pick a point choose all of these points what color is this z looking like sir it is yellow in color so let me choose a yellow color and we are done i can increase the transparency let me set it to 50 percent and there you go and let me make it solid wonderful this is exactly what looks in the front one of the elements the second element the second face which you need to identify is this one green color so again that can be done very easily let me again instead use a rectangle command this way okay okay one second let me color this green solid uh here we go so the front view is almost done hmm? if you want to place the dimensions you can front view is done and as we go along i am going to put more dimensions don't worry let's make the top view for top view from the leftmost edge you have to move a distance of 25 again use the offset command right enter 25 select this line and it will offset it at a distance of 25 done sir secondly this distance so uh, how can you measure this distance so this is 35 minus 23 will give you 12 so that is 12 for you again you need to use the offset command at a distance of 12 millimeters there you go anything else sir uh, uh, what we can do where from this very line at a distance of seven millimeters we need to make another line watch from this the, the distance between these two vertical lines is seven millimeters so again use the offset command at a distance of seven do this there you go and now since all of these lines are construction lines i can convert them like this construction lines have to be very very light right okay now time to use the polyline command again so we are going to start from this very point or you can start from here also let me start from here this way this way this way this way this way what else so this portion that you see this red portion very light is what we are going to mark now it is done now let me do the hatch what color do we want uh, we want this to be this is very dull kind of a color and uh, dull kind of a blue color let us use this secondly if i go back again using this hatch command this is these are the points that i choose and now i want the color to be red solid done so the top view is also done what we can do is we can uh, get the dimensions now let's make the side view right hand side view this cyan color rectangle is what you can see this orange rectangle is what you'll see this blue rectangle is what you'll see right it is very easy at a height of 10 millimeters first of all use the construct command height of 10 millimeters do this can be done secondly if you watch at a distance from this edge this edge at a distance of 23 you'll have this edge okay done so there are essentially three rectangles which we now need to create let me do it very quickly one is this 
next is this and finally it's this and three different colors let me put them one by one number one is this cyan color this rectangle that you see number two is this orange color rectangle that you see where is the orange color this looks okay and number three is this blue color rectangle right if you want we can do the dimensions also it's it's pretty easy uh, so the drawing is done and dusted right so guys that was all from my side for today if you find this content helpful and if you believe that this has really enriched your knowledge in engineering drawing feel free to like the video as much as you can share it with all your classmates and do subscribe to my channel this is manas patnaik signing off take care and have a nice day